uh, as far as a rivalry, I wouldn't say that I have too much knowledge on that because I never really knew that it was a rivalry for the school because this is my first time playing them since I've been here. So uh, it's really, you know, we're taking this as a, you know, a big game for us, but we're going to always just rely on our technique, rely on our knowledge and just play our game. I know that it was pretty big back in Fallon uh, when I used to live there and when Boise State and Nevada were playing, it was a big game for people in Reno and Fallon that they would want to go and see. But I don't really understand the rivalry of it, but I know it's a big game. Just kind of goes to show you that maybe the rivalry aspect between Boise State and Nevada really has kind of changed over time. Yeah. Between 2001 and 2014, these two played each and every year. But now that the Mountain West has gone to this two division format, mm -hmm. They only play each other every few years. It feels like it's split into generations. Yeah. You have the older generation that's very like, adamant. Absolutely. Yeah. This is a right. rivalry game. And then you have the current generation of Broncos, and they're like, well, we have to rely on our historians, our coaches yeah. that fill us in on what this rivalry game is like and what we should expect it to be right. like today on the blue. Uh, when I think pure rivalry, I don't think Nevada. I think BYU. You think BYU? Again, things change. And, and you look at this really quick, too. Uh, I, I want to bring up a, a tweet from Shea McClellan when it comes to this rivalry. He says that they, talking about Nevada, has won once since 1999. Personally, I wouldn't consider this a rivalry. People get mad we lost the 2010 game, but that was our fault rather than Nevada winning it. Nevada just thinks that they're better than us, even though they're not. BYU is a rival. Shea summed it up I, I, I agree right that there was also somebody else that uh, replied to us on Twitter this morning saying, I tripped over my doormat once. It doesn't mean that I'm, we're rivals. Oh. <laughs> I got a giggle I, out of that. I've hey, done that too. Uh, hey, we're, we appreciate you interacting with us this yeah. morning, though. Again, about 400 votes on this poll. 63, 62% of you still consider Nevada a rival. I also think that has something to do with the hashtag I included on the poll that it says hashtag beat Nevada. <laughs> you know, if you're, if you're on the fence either way, you're you clicking that, beat Nevada, clicking right? It. Yeah. Hey, if Boise State does want to beat Nevada, they got to play well on defense. Boise State junior safety J.L. Skinner has been incredible so far this season. Through four games, he ranks second in the country in tackles per game. If you need further perspective, he's on pace for more tackles this season than Leighton Vanderish had in 2017 when old LVE turned himself into an NFL first round draft pick. Pretty good, right, Will? Pretty yeah. darn good. Not, not bad, but let's just say J.L. has a much higher standard for himself. Bronco Roundup Game Day, Fast Stats, sponsored by TDS All Fiber Internet. I mean, to be honest with you, I think I've been playing bad. Uh, we've lost. We've lost two games. So I'm not really, I haven't really been satisfied with any performance that I've had so far. I know that there's a lot more plays I can make. There's a lot more things I could do better. And right now, I'm not even really satisfied with the way that I've been playing. I think I have another level that I could reach. And we've also lost two games. So, you know, we can play as well as you want, but when you lose, that's what really matters. So I don't really care about my individual performance. I care about getting that win at the end of the day. A reason he's becoming a fan favorite quickly, and I don't mean to call you crazy, JL, but you're crazy. You're playing phenomenal <laughs> football right now. You're a reason Boise State has been so good this season.